Oh, this looks familiar, right? Is this Windows 7? Well, actually, not really. It is Reunion 7. This is a modified Windows 10 ISO that replicates Windows 7. And in my opinion, you can't really tell that this is Windows 10. Like when I open the start menu here, looks like Windows 7. If I open the file explorer, looks like Windows 7. When I open the recycle bin, even then, looks like Windows 7. And when I empty the recycle bin, it even sounds like Windows 7. This mod is probably the best way to use Windows 7 even without it being Windows 7. Because this Windows 7 clone here is built on a long time service Windows 10 version which officially gets security patches from Microsoft until 2023. Which is insane because Windows 10 support was just ended not that long ago. So we're going to try this mod today and see if everything works, if everything looks like Windows 7 or if we can find Windows 10 here and there which we probably will. Let's go! So we have the start menu here with all of our programs. Getting started. Go online to find out what's new in Windows 7. This is the Windows 7 start screen which you get when you install Windows 7 for the first time. The text is a bit cut off here so still not perfect but you can see like the arrow theme looks perfect. Windows snapping looks exactly like in Windows 7 and even my OBS here has the arrow theme even though it's the Windows 10 application. And the good things about having a new operating system and having it look like Windows 7 is that you can use Windows 7 basically with security patches and modern software. Like I've installed the Brave browser which is of course here lacking the arrow theme because it just looks like Windows 10 and there's also this strange bug here that once it is in this smaller window here you can see the arrow theme line going around here but it's being cut off here at the top which looks really weird probably going to get fixed but but a lot of programs actually look like they were just the native Windows 7 versions like the VLC media play view which has the arrow theme and even if I open something like the help window here this also has the arrow theme and the arrow theme of Windows 7 is really beautiful so that's good if more stuff has the arrow theme and I'm actually running this on physical hardware I'm running this on my Lenovo ThinkBook it's actually performing really well all drivers installed themselves after some time at first my touchpad didn't work and the sound didn't work as well but after a couple restarts everything fixed itself by its own. Now let's start going over Windows 7 which isn't actually Windows 7. Windows Media Player is here. Let's just go with the recommended settings. Finish. We have the normal Windows Media Player here. Oh they didn't add the sample music of Windows 7 but the file explorer is like completely the one of Windows 7. There's like no way to tell that this is Windows 10. At least I don't see it. Maybe one of you guys sees it then you can write it in the comments. On my second hard drive here is my Windows 11 installation. We even have the Windows Media Center. continue. We're just going to set it up real quick. Okay, we're in. Yeah, this is really cool. I always like this Windows Media Center, even though I never used it. But it's actually cool that they added it here. We have the calculator, the Windows 7 calculator. Sticky notes. Yeah, this was also a thing in Windows 7. Like, I can tell you to subscribe through this one, which you should all do, which is very important. We also have the snipping tool with the Windows 7 design, where I can take a screenshot of the beautiful Windows 7 logo remote desktop connection oh i think this is a windows 10 thing but maybe windows 7 had this as well but i'm not sure then we have the magnifier yeah then we have solitaire here then we have wordpad which is kind of the simplified version of microsoft office i guess then we got obs studio with which i'm recording this here then the vlc media player which i installed and the funny thing is we also got the internet explorer here which is obviously out of support google.com well well, it works at least, even though you shouldn't use the Internet Explorer because it's obviously unsafe. The funny thing is, the Internet Explorer was by default the only browser installed on here, so I had to install Edge through this to then install Brave and then delete Edge again. Alright, then we also have the personalized options here, where we can change the Windows 7 themes, which we have here like this. Oh, that makes sounds. We have some cool themes here. Every one of these had its own sound, didn't know that. Landscapes nature. These are really cool. All these different Windows 7 themes. Microsoft would never, would never do this today. This is so cool. 
we even got a United States theme. But let's go back to the default Windows 7 theme because we are exploring default Windows 7 today, which isn't a Windows 7. Change mouse pointers, normal select. Oh, I have so many different mouse pointers from which I can choose from. Is this also in default Windows 7? Probably, but I didn't know that. Arrow busy. Wait, apply. I can just choose this loading animation as default mouse pointer. I'm gonna leave it that way just because I think it's funny. Okay, but do we still have... Yeah, we have the basic like and contrast themes like Windows 7 basic, which you get when your PC is too bad for a running arrow. Then it would always turn arrow off and just leave you with this theme. But they recreated everything so good here. This even has the Windows classic theme. Wow, they had to recreate this entire theme because this isn't in Windows 10. You can see how much work is gone into making this good. I'm not sure if this looks completely like the Windows Classic theme in Windows 7, but it's a really good recreation. And we also, of course, have the high contrast themes. Wait, did this start button look like the Windows 10 start button in Windows 7? Probably not, then we would have the point where we can see our Windows 10 here. It also slides open like this. I don't know anymore how this looked in Windows 7 actually, but let's go back to the Windows 7 arrow theme. This looks so much better. Okay, then let's look here. We have the minimized tasks that are running in the background here. Then we have our battery. Then we have the internet connection settings here. Then we have the volume slider with Windows 7 sounds. Then we have the calendar and the clock and the show desktop button. But there's actually one way where you can definitely tell that it is Windows 10 by pressing Windows and I, which opens the Windows 10 settings. As far as I know, not all Windows 7 features and settings are finished yet. So you still need the Windows 10 settings to do some things. So you can just use the Windows 10 settings from here. Personalization. This is funny that the Windows 7 background is here with the Windows 10 stuff here. What happens if I choose the dark theme? Does this change anything in Windows? No way. Okay. Well, I don't think Windows 7 had a dark theme. Wait, this doesn't look so bad, I guess. I mean, the default theme looks better. Okay, but some stuff is looking weird you now, so you probably shouldn't turn on the dark theme. Okay, and this doesn't get affected at all. Oh, choose your default Windows mode. Let's... Oh, it was in the dark theme. Let's choose the live theme. What happens here? Um. Okay, we're just going to put everything back to normal. Everything is looking the same as before now and we're just going to leave the Windows 10 settings alone. The X is gone. I can't close them from here anymore. So let's just close them from there. We even got the games here. Wow. They even put all of the Windows 7 games in here like the Windows 7 chess game which you could play which was actually really good or this purple place game where you could bake some cakes. All programs. What does the Windows update do? So it's probably won't work check for updates Windows update cannot currently check for updates because the service is not running. Okay, so they just disabled the Windows update. And as far as I know, this also is an updater. Yes, reloaded 7 update checker. Nothing happens. This will just probably run in the background and just check if an uh, update is needed. Accessories like the Internet Explorer or the Notepad from Windows 7, which is the Windows 7 Notepad here. We got our Paint app here, which is the Windows 7 Paint app. So we really got all Windows 7 apps here we could actually get. So this is probably everything you get on Windows 7 if you would have installed the original Windows 7 version. And even if you run the winver command, you can see Windows 7 Ultimate. This is Windows 7. Stuff. Boot screen. Boot 8 plus. Instruction. Oh, you can get the Windows 7 boot screen here with uh, some commands where you have to go on the BIOS now, so I'm not going to do that. But it's actually cool that this is possible. Okay, so here you can just basically turn on some Windows 10 features, I guess. Like turn on Windows 10 notifications. We're not going to do that. We don't need Windows 10. We are on Windows 7. What I'm also going to try is install something like GIMP because I just want to see how GIMP looks. Install for me. Install. The installer already looks like Windows 7 which is good. So let's wait for the install to complete and even down here if I hover over the taskbar here I really have the feeling that I'm on Windows 7. Okay so the GIMP setup is finished so let's go into the start menu all programs and we have GIMP 3.0 here. Let's start it. Some entry point was not found. Okay. 
Seems like I can just ignore them. Okay, I don't know what that was. I don't know what was missing there. I don't know why this didn't work. But I just ignored it and it still worked. And yes, I have the Windows Arrow theme here. That's what I wanted. But probably not everywhere. Like here, which makes sense because this application wasn't made for Windows 7. I'm just forgetting that I'm not even running Windows 7. About GIMP. We have the Arrow theme in every window though. You can just use modern programs here. And it just feels like you're using Windows 7 which is really crazy to me. I just realized that my mouse pointer is gone. So I'm just going to get it back, apply, and I have this annoying mouse pointer again. But it's actually kind of funny because the whole time you have the feeling that something isn't working as it's supposed to just because of this animation here. So what can I say about this custom Windows? I'm really surprised. I didn't expect that this would be so good. This really feels like Windows 7. I really can't tell apart this from Windows 7 most of the times. This taskbar looks like Windows 7. You can just run modern programs and most of the times you don't realize that this is Windows 10. Except of that you would press like Windows I or something and then you open the Windows 10 settings. But overall I have to say this is so 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 good. There is really so much work that has gone into this and this is just very version 0.9 so i'm really curious to see how this will look once version 1.0 comes out probably just going to be literally perfect this is so perfect for all people that just are nostalgic and want to use windows 7 again but can't because it isn't supported anymore i will put the link to the project in the description of this video so you can check it out for yourself and leave some support for the developers but yeah if you like this video and want to see more content like this subscribe to the channel, give the video a like, and if you want to see another video, click the next video that now shows up on your screen. See you there, bye.